Settle down, kids, because here it comes. My next guest is the editor-in-chief of the Old Farmer's Almanac 2006. Mwah. Every year, we're liking to drop by and share some useful and often strange information. Please welcome our friend Judd Hale. Have a oh, lot a of nice grounds. reception. Oh, yeah, of course. People, you're beloved. Now, really? now, uh, is that true? Wow. That's true, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this country, the youth of this country has almanac mania, but we'll get to that. First of all, the almanac is famous throughout history for predicting the weather. That's right. We've been doing it for 214 years. 214 now. years, the almanac's been and, and how accurate are your predictions? We're 80% accurate, and we have never been 79% accurate. We've never been 81%. Right. Just. 80. 80. That's, Simple. that's great, because 80 sounds good, but then a yeah, bunch of the times when you're wrong, you can go like, that was the 20%. Uh, from now on, just listen to anybody making a percent, and it's always 80 for everything. Right. We're right. about 80% right, 80%, you know, it's that way. So we are, too. We're the ones that started it. But, but there's, there's uh, your claim to fame. Now, there's, there's other things that you talk about in here, a wide yes. range of things. You give medical advice in the yeah. almanac that's a little oh, unconventional. Yeah. Yes, we do. We are, well, some of it is a little unusual. We have a whole list of things you can do to cure things. Like, for instance, one of the more unusual ones is if you have a strained muscle, mm -hmm. you can put earthworms on it. You don't, well, you don't mush them or anything. Just the, the full, just the earthworms. Yeah, well, just even, I think people can still say, ew, even if you're just laying an earthworm on a strained muscle without even getting to the mushing. What does that do? Well, it, it, it fixes it for a while, you know. <laughs> An incredible it's scientific explanation, yeah. 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 I don't why know why. it fixes it. But why does it fix it? Because of the fixing. Uh, <laughs> you also have advice for chapped lips? Well, yeah, I hate to even say that, but uh, earwax on chapped lips. Well, ew, that is ooh, I know, but... Um, uh, well, at least you're admitting that. Yeah, I Your own that. earwax or oh, someone else's? Preferably. Okay, all right. <laughs> you don't need an earwax donor. You, you, you grow oh, your own oh, within yeah, the right. ear. I don't even like talking about that. That's an awful one. Well, it's in your almanac, know, buddy. No, but still. It's right in here, pal. <laughs> I don't like discussing that. Oh, really? It's in your book. Uh, yeah, well. You give uh, tips for people's love life. Yes. I couldn't believe this, because you don't expect this from the Old Farmer's Almanac. There are, you list 30 kinds of kisses that someone... Oh, yeah, someone... a whole bunch of them. Yeah, like... 30 instance, kinds of kisses. The, uh, let me think. The vacuum kiss is, is one of the more... <laughs> that's where you really suck in very, very hard. Don't do it with a very... Don't do it with an old person, or you... You know, you're not sucking in at their face. But, uh, then there's the, um, the bumper kiss. The bumper, not, what's the bumper kiss? Bumper kiss is in a car, and you come up to somebody that you're kind of interested in, and you kind of just give a little tap with the car as you're whipping along. And they look behind you in the rearview mirror. That's and, a oh, carjacking. That's not <laughs> that. <laughs> they get out of their car, you and shoot them, and then... Everybody knows the hickey kiss. They all know about the hickey kiss, but the almanac can tell you how... The if hickey you do kiss it is when you leave the mark. Well, yeah. whatever, yes, but we, you can do it to leave a mark, for instance, in various shapes, like... What? A little sailing ship, for instance. The mark would look like a little sailing ship. A little sailing ship? Yeah. Or, um, or, a, or a heart, you know? Or a, a flag. Little, a little sailing a, ship. A flag. You can make your mouth a certain yeah. way, well, and it's it like, hey, it's the SS Missouri, yes, you know? So. <laughs> it, it takes practice like anything else. Practice, practice, practice. Okay. <laughs> like anything else. Like anything else, all right. <laughs> In the almanac, you talk about how fragrance is important for romance, and you have tips, yeah. unconventional tips, well, for how you can... Yeah, fragrance is an aphrodisiac. There's mm -hmm. no question. And I don't think everybody knows that most perfumes are, are made with animal scents. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the most popular being, and I'm not sure they put it on the bottle, but at the, the European wild boar is in a many, many perfumes. And The it, smell of a wild boar... Uh, it smells like a man's uh, uh, sweat. You all wondering what I was going to say? <laughs> a man sweat. I was moment. I was. I was momentarily petrified. <laughs> my soul left my body. Well, you have somebody that was. Anyway. So, uh, so, uh, so, 
so if you can somehow get the scent of a wild boar, what are you suggesting, that, well, that guys go out and find a wild boar, or? Well, no, uh, many uh, uh, perfumes are already made with that. I'll tell you how you can test out uh, how your own smell is an aphrodisiac, is take an, an apple, peel it, and put it under your armpit, and leave it there for like an hour, and then <laughs> present it to the person that you want to impress and have attracted to you, and have them smile. I don't know how you Let me get this straight, <laughs> Mr. Hale. The way for me to impress a lady that I'm interested in. Yeah. Take off my shirt. Right. Peel an apple. Not in front hold of it her. under my armpit for an hour. Do that private See her in the library, walk up to her and say, deal with this. Oh. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> smell this. <laughs> don't tell her what it is. Just have her smell like an, an apple. Don't do it all that. Oh, in don't front tell of her. her what it is. Right. Say, look, I found a peeled and then apple. She will be very attracted to and you. And then if she loves the apple, you know she's attracted to you. No, she'll smell you and be hopefully attracted. And from then on, you've got it made. I mean, that's. That's the test. You try it out. Just see if it works. Yeah. Are the police looking for you? I'm just curious. Is any... The authorities, are, there, are they interested in finding you? Uh, you, uh, in the book, The Almanac, your advice uh, is to uh, have... That, that, that couples should... If they're going to have sex, they should leave the lights on. Well, Why? Well, have it in broad daylight. Uh, sunshine, broad daylight. Sunshine... Uh, activates the pituitary gland. This is science stuff, you know, and all the things that make. Yeah, you everything feel you've sexy. mentioned is just great science. science. Yeah, science. scientists yeah. all around the world are like, yes, the apple in the armpit. <laughs> but if you do it in the dark, like a lot of people do, uh, then the uh, it, it the, the, the pineal p e n e a l gland um, activates an, a chemical called melatonin which suppresses all sexual desire. So that's what happens when it's dark. So really what you ought to do is broad daylight. Broad daylight, but you're talking just not just about having the lights on, you're talking about going out into a park in, day, in the daylight. Well, you don't have to do it in the park, but just in a broad daylight and be sure. I mean, there is another element that hasn't been taken into account is attractiveness and so forth. I mean, maybe with the wrong person. Hey, I think, I think uh, the peeled apple and the you could hedgehog have will take care of all of that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Incredible. And you also have advice on childbearing and child rearing. Child rearing. Well, these are old uh, wives' tales, but they might have something to them. If you uh, want to have a little girl, mm -hmm. uh, then you would conceive in the dark of the moon. Make sure you look in the almanac to see when the moon is in the dark. That's from the time it's full. Right. Until you have an 80% chance of that being until right. Until it's yeah. new again. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and if it's completely dark, right, then that, then that yeah, would get that you... Would, that would suppress things. Yeah. The, the, oh, oh, yeah, you don't the, want that. The, light, the, the dark of the moon. melatonin comes melatonin out. Melatonin, and then, yeah, yeah. All right, so don't do that. And if you want a little boy, again, uh, drink vinegar, both of you, just before conception. I think if both people drink vinegar, no you one's having little... anything. <laughs> There's going to be no child. Vinegar is really one of a cure-all for everything. But anyway, yeah. grapefruit if you want a girl. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, conceived by the dark of the moon yes. for a girl. Right. And... Uh, and the lady part of this partnership should be holding a nickel in her mouth. I mean, that's an old uh, wife. You know, now yeah, you're putting your own weird fetish in here. No, no, that's that's your that's weird that's thing. That's not me. You're just putting weird no, no, stuff no. in here that you want. <laughs> I can see you now dictating the almanac. Uh, dark of the moon. Uh, put, a, put a nickel in her mouth. Yeah. Right. yeah. Maybe it should be a quarter now with inflation. And... <laughs> Judd Hale, you are one weird cat, but I love you. Oh, uh, I love you too, Conan. Really? Well, not I'm gonna get literally. I'm going to get some spare change, and we're going to have some... Uh... I'm not going to try, and... <laughs> try and get you in broad daylight. The moon's out. Uh... Oh, good Lord, it's always fun. The Old Farmer's Almanac, 2006. Run out there, kids, and get it. It's in stores now. Judd Hale, you're a genius. I'll be right back. Sir, show. I do want to thank my guest, Judd Hale. Thank you so much, sir. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Our right, thanks to Matt LeBlanc for being here. Our right, thanks to Amanda Bynes for stopping by. Max Weinberg with the Max Weinberg 7. Stay tuned for the last call with Garth and Dana. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.